What's up, YouTube? Back for another fucking, a fucking bomb on you. It's Monday, the start of week seven, baby. Driving home from work. It's a Monday afternoon. Feeling kind of good since I'm off. All right, uh, beginning of week seven. Man, I feel fucking great. Um, week six, I told you about the fucking dick issues. Those issues are solved. Um few things i i think i got i got my estrogen a little bit too high uh which happens so you got to play with your ai and that's actually a, a fucking good lead into what i'm going to talk to about this uh talk to you guys about on this video is uh ai timing uh my personal theories on how much to use aromatase inhibitors um different theories i've heard i mean i, I hear all kinds of shit man motherfuckers in the gym that don't even use ais uh, but again, man, I'm like a rolling, I try to be like a rolling encyclopedia. I don't know it all. I learn different things from different fucking places. I hear dudes in the gym, I and I know motherfuckers that don't know what the fuck they're doing, and then dudes that do know what the fuck they're doing. Um, and I kind of put all that knowledge together, and then I put it out into the fucking public by way of YouTube. So again, uh, if you like my videos, man, don't forget to subscribe, man. I'm all, I believe I'm at 500 subscribers, maybe today. So I want to thank everybody that's been watching my videos, man. Tell your friends. Uh, I'm not trying to monetize my videos. Maybe later. I mean, hey, if you never know, if I can fucking quit my job and start doing this full time, I will. But it ain't at that level yet. All right. So hear me the fuck out. I think I let my estrogen get a little bit high. I was trying to use a strategy with my aromatase inhibitor where using less because I think that shit is real fucking powerful. And I proved it because I, I flatlined my fucking estrogen one time and I think I was only taking half uh, an uh, aromacin or Remedex. I was taking half like every fucking other day and my fucking estrogen was less than seven. That's not good. Low estrogen sucks just as bad as high estrogen. In fact, probably worse. I think you feel like even worse shit. Um, so I've done all, I've done the fucking, I've run the gamut. I've done steroid cycles without an AI. So I'll just tell you about, I'll start there. What you can expect. You can expect to get gyno and you can expect to not be able to lean on preacher benches and you can expect to be ex super fucking emotional to where you can't even, you can't even watch a fucking movie with any girl without fucking weeping. It's, it's bad guys. I'm telling you hormones go nuts. So you don't want high, high estrogen as a motherfucker. However, my personal experience with high estrogen is that it will not stop you from fucking. You will not have, you will usually not have dick issues. So this time around, I did have dick issues. But again, this cycle, you guys should be keeping up with these cycle locks. I can't need, keep needing to tell you what I'm running, but I'm running 300 milligrams of trend per week. So my, uh, um, my progestin will build up, okay? That's almost as bad. So you can get fucking progestin-related uh, ED. So I started taking Kaber like I should have been anyway. My boy, shout out to my boy Luke again, provided me with the fucking, the Kaber Goline that I fucking needed. Oh, that's another thing. Shout out to fucking PSL. I usually don't do, uh, I usually don't do endorsements on my page, but I'm gonna fucking, uh, I'm gonna quiet that down for right now. Purity Source Labs, there's Cialis. It's fucking, it's real. It's real in the field. And all their gear that, I, that, that I've that i fucking heard of, mad legit. So shout out to Purity Source Labs. You can get in touch with those guys off evolutionary.org. Again, I don't make no money for that shit. All I know is that the shit is legit. What you do with that information is up to you. But their Cialis is the real fucking deal. I told you my dick problems were gone. Well, that's one fucking reason. Because, again, I should have been taking Kaber, which I now am. And I should have been taking, just fucking take one Cialis a day if you can get your hands on it. I also have a, a, a Viagra prescription, but that just happens to be, they don't give me enough. They give me a very, very small amount of Viagra. They want to make sure they're not turning people into drug dealers. Because uh, that's, fuck, Viagra on the street is almost fucking the same street value as goddamn heroin. It may as well be heroin. <clears throat> All right, so moving on. I try, I have done no AI. And you're gonna get fucking gyno, especially if you're using test prop. Test prop will fucking, your levels just whoop, go right through the fucking roof. Your test levels come up fast, which means your estrogen levels come up fast. And that signals, boom, gyno, lumps under your fucking nipples. 
Now, some people start their AI when they get fucking symptoms of gyno, like they get itchy nipples and that blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, take my fucking AI. That's when you start. Now, okay, that that's one way. And, and <laughs> the person who told me that knows what the fuck he's doing. He doesn't start until he gets like symptoms of gyno. They just start coming on. Because some people say that having a little bit of estrogen or extra estrogen in your system helps build muscle growth. So that's one way you can approach it. Again, I'm not a doctor, so none of this shit, this is all bro science. This is all, you guys can do whatever the fuck you want with this. All my followers or anyone who listens to this video, it's all up to you. You have to find out what is good for your fucking body. So I tried doing it, no AI. Did I grow? Yes. Did I get lean? Yes. Did I have gyno? Yes. Did it hurt? Yes. So doing it with an AI is smarter. Now, again, some people start it when they get uh, symptoms of early onset gyno, which is, you know, uh, a little puffy nipples, you get sensitive, you can't lean on the preacher bench. Some people do that. Other people start it the first day of a fucking first test injection. Like the first day of your cycle, bam, you fucking take an injection, you eat an AI pill. Now, what do I think about that? I kind of think that's fucking stupid. And I've never heard any pros say that. Because test, unless you're using test prop, well, if you're using test prop, some kind of fast fast rise prop, uh, fast rise test like propionate, maybe then. But I still don't think you should do it until even like day three. Because you have to fucking let your test levels come up before you start co combating high estrogen. You have to let the fucking testosterone aromatize in your system before you start taking a fucking drug to combat the aromatization that's going to happen. So my personal theory, my personal theory is you should start your AI, whatever the fucking, uh, whatever the, the test that you're using is, I think you should start whatever the half-life of it is, you should start your fucking AI dosing on that day of the half-life. If you're using Cypionate, I don't know, I'm not going to quote half life but let's just say Cypionate is a 10-day half-life. I think 10 days after you fucking, you take that first initial injection, you should start your AI. That's my personal opinion, and that's what I do. Okay, now, I was using an AI like once every other day, and I told you I flatlined my E2, and I felt like shit, my joints hurt. It was like I was eating Winstroll like out of a Pez dispenser. Fucking shit hurts, your joints hurt. Uh, low, low estrogen sucks. It fucking, it really sucks. You have no libido. You get fucking majorly depressed. You get fucking, you're tired all the time. It sucks. You don't want that to happen. So crushing your E2 is just as important or just as bad as letting it get cranked up. So this is where I think the less is more. Like, dude, Arimidex isn't made for men. Aromacin isn't made for men. Letrozole, all these things. They're not fucking, you're not taking the shit for what it's designed for. Some of this shit is designed for breast cancer. None of you guys have breast cancer. Okay? So just understand that a less is more. Like, fuck. You might feel a lot better by going to half a fucking Arimidex every four to five days. That's generally what I do now. Some of my boys tell me that's not enough, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. I felt high estrogen and I felt low estrogen and I feel I'm fucking more than comfortable making a decision which, which would I rather fucking have. So I'm just going to err on the side of caution and take less AI, okay? Now, get your blood test done before you run your cycle and see where your E2 is at. And you should be running a test-only cycle your first time. And here's why. Because you don't throw in other compounds that are going to skew your E2 numbers like Trenbolone. So what you do is you run a test-only cycle with about 400 milligrams of fucking testosterone and you you get mid-cycle bloods and you can start with a baseline AI, half a fucking Arimidex, like I said, every, I say four to five days. Or you try the fucking other, you try the other approach and you wait till you get like itchy nipples and then you start taking Arimidexes. Or you wait till the, ha the my half-life trick. However you want to do it, you take it first day of your cycle. However you want to fucking do it. But you got to get some mid-cycle bloods that are only on testosterone. That's, a, that's fucking critical. All right? Um, and that's pretty much it, man. So what I did to manage my, my, my shit back down is I, I basically got a little bit more aggressive with my AI until I felt better. 
Uh, and I did feel better rather quickly. I started taking Kaber. All of a sudden, morning erections came back. Fucking, then my, then my PSL Cialis came in. And then girls were fucking running for the hills. Like, literally in my town, they fucking blew a bugle. And they, and they said, you gotta get to cover because this motherfucker found some PSL Cialis. All right, I'm just playing, man, but I'm just having fun on a fucking Monday trying to get my week together. All right, man, well, hey, I love all you guys, all my followers. Again, shout out to PSL. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button. All right, man, Outlaw V2, signing out. Deuce.